and welcome to my complete absence of viewers. Today on Life with Laura, it's your guide to life in the Silas University Library. Should you find yourself spending your summer vacation inside a sentient library, the first thing to do is figure out if the architecture slash life form that you're dwelling in is full on Amityville horror evil or just kind of a capricious dink. One clue may be the way that it treats cranky and I invulnerable vampires. as opposed to tiny, broken-hearted college girls who might be, for perfectly valid reasons, sort of kind of wallowing over past mistakes. Oh. <clears throat> Not that the wallowing has continued. Nothing like two months hiding in the stacks because the library is the only place that you're safe from the ancient evil who played you for a chump, to put things in perspective. Which brings us to cuisine. A crucial skill when your sole food source is vending machines is creativity. Need a smoothie? How about a nozzle coffee and granola bar whip up? Perfect camp dinner? How about a beef jerky casserole? Craving a salad? So am I. Of course, there is the option to eat out. Really, really far out. See, near as Laugh's been able to figure, the library contains, well, everything, and so any one space, like this room, can connect to anywhere else. Which means when you open a door, maybe you get a hallway, or maybe you get an undersea world filled with a really angry shrimp. The good news is that Laugh's been able to crack the code for Howl's Moving Library. Well, at least one part of it. Three to the left for the central fountain. Whoa. Yeah. Two right for Snowy Uberval. Yeah. That one's cold. Uh, five to the right. It's a live volcano. Five is a live volcano. Oh. Uh, oh, but I do have this really cool one. Okay. Two up, two down. Cyberpunk dystopia. With that nailed, there's nothing left to fear. Except for fear herself. You may remember that we lost track of Perry and JP after I after Corvée stormed HQ? Well, despite the fact that all off-campus communication has been shut down by a firewall even Laugh can't breach, we did start to get some transmissions. Good morning, students of Silas. I know many of you are still recovering from the unfortunate events of last semester. And my altered state might be shocking. But let me assure you, my struggling dears, your dean will never give you up. With the generous sponsorship of our friends at Corvée, Silas will rise again. And no one, no matter what dank little hole they're currently hiding in, will interfere with our glorious unearthing of knowledge. See you in class, my dears. Oh, you mother dried up, saggy t wench of a woman masquerading as a sadistic, narcissistic piece of shit. That wasn't. She can't have just possessed Perry, can she? Oh, no, it's worse than that. Think about it. Raggedy Ann was acting dodgy all semester. No, I would have seen something. I would have noticed. Oh, yeah, because you weren't too busy ignoring your kidnapping trauma or resurrecting your digital pet into a dead vampire. That had nothing to do with Perry. When could it even have happened? She was with us the whole time. It would have had to have been... Right from the moment she walked in here dripping blood. <laughs> I should have seen it. So perfectly her. How do you breach a wall? Not with a battering ram. You give them a helpless girl and let them invite their doom right in. Months. Perry's been gone for months? After that long, could she still be alive in there? Well, that's the least of our problems. You heard her. She's never gonna let us free, no matter how far we run or where we hide. But we're safe in here. Were you not paying any attention last semester? Nobody is safe anywhere. She'll find a way sooner or later. 
She'll crush us like bugs. She always does this. There's no running, there's no hiding, there's no safe until she's dead. Harm. Yep. You thought living with your ex was awkward? Try being trapped with said ex in a magical library after you got her sister killed and then sacrificing your school and your friends and your morals to save her life. And she still hasn't followed me back on Twitter. And yeah, I know I'm supposed to come up with some brave new plan to stop Corvée instead of letting Carm go a Lizzie Borden on her mother. It's just... I'm not saying I'm pro-evil now. If I see someone kicking a puppy, I won't be all, yay, go about your puppy-kicking business unhindered. It's just... Maybe I'm not the girl to pick a fight with some ancient fiend I could never beat anyway. But... What am I talking about? This is a lifestyle show and you don't exist, so... Entertainment. <laughs> when you're trapped inside for two months, cabin fever is a factor. <laughs> Try learning a new skill. Like learning to play the Harry Potter theme on water glasses.